consider the site has undergone an upgrade. So apart from having a common section, it now has a VIP section as well. On logging into the comment section, you are taken to page number 1. On logging into the VIP section, you are taken to page number 2. As an exercise, let's record a script to log in into the comment section. In our case, there are two login buttons on screen, one for common, another for VIP, having the same property values, input type equals to button and value equals to login. Even smart identification cannot help in this case since it will be left with two object candidates with identical values. Ideally, this script, which is login into comment section in the current scenario, must fail. So let's go ahead and record the script. But before recording, reset the object properties tweet earlier to default. Click the record button. In the application, under the comment section, enter a login name, password, click the login button, you are taken to page number 1. In QTB, stop recording. Now, let's replay the script. Our expectation is the script must fail. Click the run button. What happens? The script actually passes that too without any smart identification. The script must have failed, but it passes. What happens? Well, let's investigate. Ordinal identifiers come into effect during record session. If mandatory and assessive properties are insufficient to identify an object, QTP uses and stores ordinal identifier in addition to other captured properties to uniquely identify the objects. There are three types of ordinal identifiers index based, location based, creation time. By default, ordinal identifier type is pre selected for all test objects. You can modify the default ordinal identifier for an object in object identification dialog box. Let's look into the three types of ordinal identifiers one by one. Index based ordinal identifiers. When using index based ordinal identifiers, QTP will assign a value to index property of an object. The value is based on the order in which the object appears within the source code. The first occurrence has value 0. The default ordinal identifier for a web button is index. In our example, for the login object, QTP will store index property as 0. Hence, the script process successfully. Had we recorded the second login object as well, QTP would have assigned it an index property as 1. This index properties helps QTP to distinguish between a login web buttons appearing in the common section and the VIP section. Hence the script process successfully. Index property values are object specific. Therefore, if you use index equals to 3 to describe a web edit test object, 
we test searches for the fourth web added object on that page. Location based ordinal identifier while recording QTP will assign a value to location property of an object to uniquely identify the object. The value is based on the order in which the object appears within the window, frame or dialog box in relation to other objects with identical properties. The first occurrence of the object is zero. Values are assigned in columns from top to bottom and left to right. As you can see in this example, identical radio buttons are assigned values top to down and left to right. Creation time ordinal identifier while recording, QTP will assign a value to creation time property of a web browser. The identifier is only available for the web environment. This value indicates the order in which the browser were opened relative to other open browsers. The first browser that opens while recording receives the value creation time equals to zero and succeeding browsers are given values one, two, three and so on.